relaxed as this when you fight for the World Championship? Definitely. You're going to see it for yourself. I'm so relaxed. I'm ready to do the business. It's not that you're taking your opponent too lightly tonight. No, I'm not taking him lightly. B's going to get beat, just like the rest. Now the problem is here, Jim, we don't know enough about, we know the record, which is very substantial, and the fact that he's never been knocked over at Liendo, but we don't really know what, a fellow from Zambia he defeated uh, for the WBC international title, that's not the, the full one, it's the second one to it, and didn't bother to defend it, Paul Kaoma, a Zambian. See what I'm saying? They're already the, the Scots have taken to this fellow. He gives him a bit of entertainment, but it now looks as though he can uh, not only back up his post, the, the lad can fight. He's only 21 recently. Changing stats. The thing about uh, the endo when he weighed in, Hammers manager Brendan Ingle said, well, there's no marks on him, so he doesn't get knocked around at all. Very clean cut looking. Yeah, the, the fact that he fights so often, Reg, suggests that he doesn't get involved in war, so he's probably fairly elusive with a good defence. That was a good little start. He caught uh, Naz with a couple of decent shots. But uh, Naz will make him pay for that, as he has done already. Uh, most people are saying, what's going to happen when somebody hits him, uh, Jim? But when he boxes in the gymnasium against people much heavier than him, he takes some good shots, never complains. I think he does absorb a good punch, but then again, we've got to find out. And I don't know whether this fellow's capable of it or not. Well, he's not a big puncher, Lendo, but I get the impression that Naz has great natural strength, so I don't really see any problems when eventually he takes a, a solid shot in the chin. Really, he looks to have everything. You, you're not 100% sure until you see him do it at the top level, but he really looks as though he has the business. He's given up the European Bantamweight Championship, that's the H Stone 6 division. And, uh, well, that's always difficult to do that, but he just doesn't want to sweat down, he says, to that weight anymore. He's now 8 stone 10. He weighs two ounces under that for this. And uh, Leendo was 8 stone 10. Well, if the first round is anything to go by, at least it looks like Leendo's going to give him a test far better than his previous opponent. And that was a lovely shot. That was a bone shaker, that one. That was a lovely uppercut. Uppercut lead from Hamed. Yeah, as you say, the Argentinian's going to make him fight by the look of it. But we'll see how durable he is uh, against Hamed, who's, who's made fairly decent fighters look very ordinary with his style and with his punch power. We've been talking about round three, in fact, ten minutes ago, I had to be walking past him, keeping my distance. He said, uh, you watch for round three. But I think he, was, he wouldn't have minded being in the opening round then when he let that punch go. Apart from these sort of cobra-like skills that he's got, uh, Nazim Jimmy's, he's physically well-built, isn't he, for an eight-stone ten fighter? Yeah, he's got very strong legs. That, that's one of the reasons I believe he'll come up at least a couple of weight divisions. Very strong-looking legs, and that's obviously where his punching power comes from. Although he doesn't have to be set to get power into his punches, he seems to be able to do that from all angles. Well, uh, up till now, Leander looks at a worthy opponent. is the best punch I've ever seen you throw. The left hook that put him down first time. Now I can tell you my power is extraordinary. I was just lining him up there. I knew he's dropped his hand. The hook is coming up now. Look, it's just there. Oh, what a beautiful shot. This hook here was just awesome. It was just there. I mean, the shot was just a great shot and it took him out completely. Uh, I just hope he's nice and safe.